If you've looked over at Bradley Field lately, you may have wondered, how is our first home football game going to happen? Why is the construction taking so long? To answer these questions and get a better timeline of events, we first talked to Athletic Director Tim Faulkner. We're up past 15 years now, mm -hmm. and then that's why we needed to redo it again. It's, it's uh, every 15 or so years when the field's past warranty, it needs to be replaced. So the turf was ripped up uh, two days after graduation. It was supposed to be done uh, in mid-August, yes. Mid the projected timeline is going to be mid-September now. To learn more about how the construction is affecting the football team, we talked to football coach Justin Andrews. We were supposed to host our scrimmage and then obviously our first game. The scrimmage got moved to San Mateo High School and so our first game is going to be there just as well. So we'll have at least a little bit of familiarity with their field. They just got their field redone as well. And just try to turn it into as much of a home environment for us as we can. For football player Sam Cowart, the lack of a football field is disheartening. Especially given it's his senior year. I think I could speak for all the, the football players. It's very annoying. It's, uh, I don't know, especially for the seniors, including me, it's kind of like first home game. We don't really technically get it. However, players Sam Johnson and James Yauk are able to find some silver linings in the situation. Oh, somewhere else. That's going to suck. It does kind of suck because there's going to be less people going because it's not like in Redwood City, it's not at Woodside. Yeah. But at the same time, it's still like a game, and I guess all games are pretty fun, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But how is playing on the baseball field different from playing on the turf? The field itself is also pretty, uh, like, unforgiving. Not a lot of give to it, so we have to be very deliberate and careful with how we practice, you know, tackling and certain things just because, you know, hit, hitting the ground on the baseball field versus hitting like the turf is completely different. I don't know, it's, it's like, it's like tackling on concrete kind of. And how do players deal with all the geese? Um, the whole like preseason, it wasn't there. It's kind of just been showing up for the past like week or two. So it's not like a big problem, but it definitely is annoying right now. It's not that bad. Do you know if there's any possibility that like the construction will be extended further and there might be a possibility for more home games to... I'm just going to say it better not be. <laughs> um, no, we, we, uh, uh, we've, we've got the timeline and so we should not have any issues with our, next, uh, with our next home football game as well as our first home flag football game. We should be fine with both of those. But things are finally starting to look up. The turf is now being laid down and the team is on track to play their second home game at home. 